it's legible for all the viewers to see, Sally, okay? Can you see that? It shows here highlighted in orange that his initial test showed his A1C was a 13.8, and that was done on December of 2015. February of 2017, we should see the whole view there highlighted in orange so it's easy for you viewers to see. February of 2017 is A1C 5.7. So with those ended medications, I want you to notice here, if you look at all of those, and we don't have to zoom in too close to read the word so clear, but you can actually, if you can just read across the sentence here, there are the uh, Novolog insulin, the Humalog insulin discontinued. Can you see all of those showing discontinued? Every single one of his insulin medications are discontinued now. We started decreasing his insulin because we noticed that his numbers were coming down and then it got to the point where we're, we're doing like two milligrams and that was only because we didn't want to take it away without a doctor giving us official um, authority to do that. So we took him back to his doctor and his doctor tested his sugar and the ACI or whatever those are. A1C, and, the A1C. Okay. And then he basically turned to me and said, basically, it's a miracle. He said, it's a miracle. He no longer needs insulin. What have you been doing? So, um, and at that point is when they removed him from his insulin. Removed him 100% from the insulin. 100%. And they said he's not diabetic anymore. He's not diabetic. Actually, as a parent, I insisted the doctor give me testing strips and uh, insulin PRN in case I needed it. The doctor said that he would not need that, but he, uh, you know, did what I asked. I just asked that we'd be able to test it for six months and we could test it periodically and his numbers are running fine and hasn't needed insulin. So. Amazing, yes? Yes.